And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, as uh, we are waiting on uh, the uh, the players to file into their teams and uh, get moving. Let's take a look at this replay of of that last little bit here. I am going to uh, take a look at this booty clap with a huge return there. Nanner gets that return, and now it's just a matter of Tau securing this flag, getting Pandalol down, and moving it back into uh, a nice position here. And unfortunately, 51 unable to get into position to get that e-grab. So very, very close. In fact, even at the end here, when you see the game ends from uh, the fifth cap out, you see that flag is actually in the hands of Kudos as the uh, waiting for that next server tech to actually finalize the game. But yeah, or no, I'm sorry, Aurora ended up with it. But yeah, so that's how close it was. It was literally, you know, portions of a second between each other. And, uh, you know, very, very happy to have such a close game. We are 45 seconds out from the third game in this matchup between the gentlemen of Tau of Tribe, who will be the red Blood Eagle team on your screen, versus Area 51 Gaming, which will be Diamond Sword, the blue team. And I could not be more excited, Guitar Guy. How about you? Oh, man, after that last match, <laughs> I don't think I could be any more excited for this. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. Kudos, though, does have a lot of sniper positions to choose from here on Dry Dock, so it's going to be really hard to track him down. So we'll have to see what uh, Tower Tribe does to counter that. And on the other side, we do have Sub also still in here running Sentinel. So uh, Tower Tribe will be sticking with a, a Sentinel here for this map, uh, which I believe is a very good decision, as, again, they do have a lot of uh, spots that they can perch up at and be very, very effective at while being very, very difficult to uh, deal with by the team's offense. And uh, most likely to be seeing vehicles. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if Area 51 maybe brought out a tank even. Tanks are pretty popular on this map as uh, you can almost shoot that flag stand from the vehicle pads with the tank mortar shell. Yeah, and you know, that that's that's an interesting thing to point out as well. The tank side of it is that 51 did have a very, very competent tanker that they uh, that they did elect to let go in favor of picking up some of these 51 guys in Vash Eriks. And uh, so now, yeah, it would be interesting to see them bringing out that capper. Watching uh, Reticle come in and crash this stand here as Conspiracy tries to snake his way past Kudos. Unfortunately, that is not the easiest thing in the world. I'm about to be kicked for idling. And uh, so let me uh, do the old uh, swap there. And now, yes, now I'm back in a Spectre mode. And Guitar Guy, what are you seeing coming out here? Um, right now, it looks like I see Nanner. He is setting up for a low to high route. He is going to be going into Panda LOL and Titan. Titan going to start spamming that flag stand with AP grenades. And uh, Panda LOL is going to get credit for that kill as uh, Nanner gets taken out. And over here, we see Sub. Sub actually dancing around a lot. Um, looks like Curious George going to be running some Raider offense, just trying to take out those static defenses after the gens have gone down for Team Tala Tribe. But the gens are actually still up for Area 51. So I'm curious to see. We have Maka there actually uh, going through and taking out those gens. So both gens, again, Again, are down we have reticle now uh, set up he's looks like he's just right now on kudos duty trying to take him out and uh looking for anyone here from tala tribe to come in on any kind of routes uh titan is still on that flag uh, reticle is able to take out kudos um but i don't see any cat we have nanner and conspiracy about 25 seconds out from the route so uh, kudos will get that respawn again and here I'm watching 99 actually crash straight through the midfield here. This may be trying to set up a pass or potentially a bounce. Let's see. No, he does miss that flag. I guess he was trying to chase down Copro. Copro trying to keep this flag stand disrupted. They're doing a very good job of the conspiracy about four seconds out. Curious George there, but I don't know if he sees him. 99. No, unfortunately, 51 is able to uh, get that disruption. You see conspiracy stopping his route and Kang out. Unfortunately, there for him, unable to uh, continue that route. And uh, I think that ultimately would have just ended up in him taking that flag into a, a non uh, movable position. Curious George, however, has elected to pick this flag up off the stand. And look at this, 51 looking very strong, death matching out all chasers, and they may turn this into the first cap unless Conspiracy is able to e-grab it here in time. Yeah, Conspiracy is coming in. He's actually going to opt to disc jump, get rid of all of his energy or all of his health in order to get this flag off the stand. But no, Kudos is going to snipe him out before. But uh, Curious George taking a bit of a roundabout route that might be by Talot Tribe enough time. Is it? He goes down on the flag stand. Reticle now up here. But Panda LL is going to thrust forward after he picks that flag up and make the first cap here for Team Area 51. And a very nice cap there. Uh, actually coming off from a Llama cap initially started by Curious George after we did see 99 go in to grab the flag for maybe a back to front and then Aurora came in but Sub got a nice snipe on him and Curious George just opted to pick that flag up and keep it moving and keep the defense on their toes and uh, turned into a cap so nice play there by Area 51. Yeah absolutely and I would not be surprised to see them potentially move into that style again using that Raider uh, kind of uh, cluster style offense to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, 51 has kind of proven to be uh, very very strong at, at their uh, their dueling so far in this game as I'm watching Nanner coming here very very low health uh, is going to be able to take out Titan there is the conspiracy coming in on another round no he's still a little ways off that flag has just come off the stand oh. there Fortau was bouncing around a bit are you seeing anything in particular GG 
Oh man, actually, uh, we'll get back to that in a second. 99 is actually out with the back to front. On the other side, Reticle is going to pick up the flag for Tala Tribe. So right now, there's a 99 at low HP. Is Reticle going to be able to kill him? No, he's not going to be able to. Titan now coming off. Looks like Titan is actually running Juggernaut. Now Brick has a flag for Area 51. That's going to be a quick 2-0 game there. So nice play there by Area 51. Um, but I wanted to point out, uh, while Nanner and Conspiracy were setting up a ghost route, and uh, looks like a Conspiracy, he had done a double Nitron disc jump, and Aurora was going right over him, and Aurora pulled out his light assault right and took him out mid route so oh. uh, nanner <laughs> was forced to go alone on that ghost route so nice awareness there by aurora and knowing that even though he is setting up a route he can still shoot at people and uh preventing maybe a nice uh, ghost route coming out from team tala tribe and get a, a cap for his team that's definitely something that uh is always you know something that you look for but you very rarely see which is you know the two cappers passing each other and one of them killing the other uh and another thing i want to point out is interesting to see titan running juggernaut as their flag defender here but conspiracy's got this flag out kudos of course snipes him down uh will nanner be in position for a regram no aurora does get that return uh but no nanner was actually in position there with that return just in time taking a little bit of bounce off that rock bleeding off some speed may look to pass it off to conspiracy here now instead of going down to kudos no down to 190 health gonna punt it curious george is in position to field it however 451 brick there as well and they are gonna be able to secure this return it does look like yes indeed they will and uh, 99 moving that flag again uh no i'm sorry it has gone down to the field now but uh tau still trying to get something going here in this tiebreaker map of dry dock yeah corporal very made a nice nitro in there as on 99 as he came in um but man this is uh i like titans uh going through and running juggernaut the fact of the matter is doombringer only has one real effective weapon being the chain gun the missile the saber launcher is nice for distracting people but not going to do, do too much and considering the doombringer i think is really only uh solidified here by the fact that they are able to put up force fields mm -hmm. um the juggernaut kind of just allows them to have two effective weapons being the mortar and the the spin fuser to put the splash damage on that flag stand as people come in and uh just do a, a lot better overall job i think of the hop position but as i say that of course area 51's gens are up currently um so right now we need to see tyler tribe maybe come in and take out those gens as a vehicle is out and that's panda lo piloting it for team area 51. here i'm watching 99 set up this uh rock bounce off of the top here setting up this back to front route he's gonna be able to get it off brick is there no brick actually elects to longer maybe looking to pass it off here to 99 no oh unfortunately that communication breakdown there uh, Brick unable to get that flag off to his capper going very, very, very fast. And now they're going to have to look to cluster this thing through the midfield. Of course, they do have strike support. Uh, Copro is there. Maybe we'll get the turn with Thrustback. No, Aurora going to keep this flag moving. Let's take a look at Conspiracy. He is the only hope here. Titan did get distracted, taking out Maka. And now Conspiracy has got a good chance of getting this flag home as well. Kudos is on him. Let's take a look at this snipe coming in. He does hit him on that first one. And he's got one more chance potentially here. No, it does look like he's going to have to fly up in the air. Will he get the snipe out? Warchief Slapo does go down there in that strike. Conspiracy maybe going to get this thing passed off Attila. Yes, indeed. And we could potentially be moving into our first standoff of the match, Guitar Guy. Yes, indeed. Right now, Telia under pressure from Panda LOL, but he has uh, Maka, Nanner, and Conspiracy to answer to, and he gets taken out. And uh, right now, both teams doing a really good job of escorting the flag. Area 51 did a phenomenal job as they had about five uh, people around their flag carrier making sure they get it home. Looks like Reticle is going to be having the flag in his hands here for Tala Tribe. He is running Soldier, of course. Uh, Soldier, very powerful standoff uh, class that it has a lot of energy. You're able to dodge Nitrons a lot easier. Uh, 99 looks like calling down an inventory station. Aurora, 99, and Kudos all up on the top hill for top hill for area 51 but it looks like we have curious george and panda lol set up on the the top hill behind tala tribes base we'll see if they're able to make anything of that brick coming in reticle oh nice pass off the telia keeping that flag alive curious george panda lol coming in for the return curious george got everyone here for area 51 is still alive and that flag is going to get returned now aurora coming in trying to cap the flag maka is here though looks like maka is in that raider class he's going to immediately go down after picking up the flag conspiracy coming in now unfortunately the flag is not there for him to take a uh, pick up and titan's going to be taken out with that assault rifle and it's panda lol there to make the return for area 51 and aurora is going to make the cap making it a three nothing here and area 51 is starting to run away with it we're going to have to see a change here from tau tribe if they want to uh, be able to come back and win this game yeah tau in a very very tough position here down three to nil of course uh 17 just under 17 and a half minutes remaining in this match the red team of tau of tribe uh they are tied all square here at one game apiece in this best of three so this is winner take all the map and uh down three to nothing is not the place you want to be in a tiebreaker map as i'm watching a uh, conspiracy try to 
to set up a route here, but again, just getting pinged by Kudos on the way end down to 192 health, which is just, it's just so unfortunate for him. They've got to get some disruption on Kudos. I mean, which, which is interesting because the map that they did win on Arx Novena was so, so close. Booty Clap, however, I'll cut that off. Booty Clap's got this flag out. 230, 240 kilometers an hour as he moves up over the hill. Aurora's got the flag on the other side as well, and it looks like uh, Booty Clap is going to get this home unless 99 is something to say about it. No, going to pass it off to Conspiracy here. On the other side, Aurora's pass it off to Brick, and we may be moving in to that uh, that standoff a bit here if they're able to control it. No War Chief Slabo 99 are in position here. Guitar Guy, are they going to get this return? Uh, looks like it. Curious George is here. He just misses that return. He has it. No, he, he, it looks like Sub gets a nice shot on him, taking him out before he's able to make that return. Computer, conspiracy now has a flag here for Talat Tribe. Talat Tribe has mopped up Area 51's chasers, and now we're going to be seeing a standoff. Very nice play there by uh, Team Talat Tribe. So close to losing that flag, um, but coming, pulling together, and uh, now both flags. Looks like Area 51 again going to be favoring this top hill behind their base as their standoff point. Corporal Proveria is over here now, has a flag for Team Talat Tribe. Sub is around him. Sub is actually running Pathfinder and uh, we have Telia running Soldier over here trying to get some shots off up here on Panda LOL. Looks like Panda LOL is going to be going up to the hill behind uh, Team Tower Tribe's flag stand to maybe uh pair up here with uh, Curious George and Brick who are coming from the fort, uh, front side. Maka not opting to go infiltrate or anything. He's opting just to stick with this Raider and uh, not a lot of uh, change coming out. We do have 99 running technician though for Team Area 51. Right now though, uh, Nanner and Conspiracy putting a lot of shots into Aurora. We'll see if Aurora is able to go down. He's at half HP. Conspiracy and Nanner both go down. Uh, don't see a turret up right now even though 99 is running that technician class, uh, but the gens are down right now for Area 51, so uh, not sure why he's uh, opting to go that way, but either way, um, they are much smarter than me, so I'm not going to put anything by them. Uh, Co Corporal Pavir now has a flag over here for Tower Tribe. Brick trying to take him out, just trying to dance around with Telia and Sub, but he's going to get, he's just uh, forced to stay back. Corporal Pavir now under some uh, barrage fire of EMP grenades. It's not going to connect though, and Brick right now just trying to dance around with all the LD over here at Tower Tribe to get the flag return. Yeah, Brick here in a good position on the Copper. He's putting some damage in. Is he going to be? Yes, he does get that frag. Will Brick get this return out of the air? Yes, indeed, he will. Now it's just a matter of Titan getting back to this flag saying, let's take a look. I don't see any red shirts in the area. Nanner, the only one with a shot, but Kudos does take him out. Conspiracy is crashing. He has got the beat on Titan, but it looks like he got. Yes, he is going to get the flag off the stand. I'm sorry, uh, but he does go down immediately to Curious George. Nice bit of chaining there. And this is going to put up Area 51 4 to nil here with uh, just under 15 minutes remaining in this match. Tau in a really tough position. Yes, unfortunately, like you were saying, uh, Kudo's just doing such a phenomenal job of popping these snipers or these cappers as they come in. Conspiracy and Nanner now looking to uh, kind of counter that by setting up another ghost route. We'll see if anyone's able to go down. Oh my goodness, Nanner is shooting at Conspiracy and they came really close to killing him. <laughs> uh, that was scary. I uh, peed myself a bit. But either way, uh, <laughs> Nanner and Conspiracy over here setting up for a low to high route. Uh, Maka is in front of him trying to clear off Titan. Titan is on that flag and Conspiracy is going to make it out clean. Uh, we do have some shots coming from Kudos. Kudos uh, using that BXC is so... Uh, just mobile with that loadout. So good at mo shooting on the fly. Conspiracy, though, is back at his base. Curious George is actually going to be able to pick up the flag out of the hands of Corporal Preferia and Telia. And now the flag over here. Conspiracy goes down. 99 almost comes in. Makes a return. Not going to happen, though. Nanner picks up the flag. Curious George makes it out with full HP. Very unfortunate here for Team Tower Tribe. Kudos now chasing him down uh, using the Sentinel class as a chaser, as he always does. Reticle now picks up the flag for Tower Tribe. Uh, and Curious George now passes the flag off to Aurora for Team Area 51. Reticle is looking good for the time being. It looks like. Uh, a team Talat Tribe might be taking a page out of Team Area 51's playbook as they're going to the top hill for the standoff point this time. Yeah, that's it is. Uh, they're in a tough position here again. Is Tau Aurora's got this flag moving now? They're in a standoff, but definitely time is favoring uh, Area 51 here. They've got an opportunity now to. I mean, they you know to borrow the term from fighting games, they could just lame it out here. I mean, they could they could just wait this out for 10 minutes, you know, and be in a really really good position. At some point, it becomes impossible to get the enough caps in time. And I think you know if, if they get it down to about three minutes remaining, it's gonna be really really tough for Tau to do anything at a uh, four to nil disadvantage. Now Tau taking a page out of 51's book and taking a look at where they're holding that flag up on the hill over here uh looking like a pretty good position i think as, as aurora's on a bit of pressure there but uh look at the uh, the mobile squad of 51 here protecting aurora the flag carrier as he just walks it home uh casually against uh this uh raider play of maka coming in booty cloud coming in to do some assisting as well uh, try for some of those miracle nitrons and uh but tau looking like uh, again in just a tough spot here yeah, wow, nice snipe there again by Kudos Conspiracy now coming in. Nitron not going to land. And right now I see 
Panda LOL being the only person not part of this fray that Area 51 is using to cover uh, Reticle, or I'm sorry, to cover Aurora. And now uh, we're, we have Panda LOL and Conspiracy passing over each other. Ooh, Panda LOL actually is running Infiltrator. Uh, we'll see if Conspiracy was able to see him. Corpora should be able to see him now, though, so they are aware that Infiltrator is coming in. I don't see anyone running Raider, though, for that Sensor Jammer pack, so uh, if he does go in and cloak they will have to shoot him out if they want to be able to see him move but corporal Fury is going to come down and start putting some pressure in the panda lol on the other side aurora looking pretty good him titan 99 and kudos all up here on the top of their hill behind their base that is area 51's base on the blue side and uh, looking good looks like maka though Ooh, here he comes looking for that sonic punch he has enough energy to kind of just waddle over here we'll see if he's able to do it aurora he's uh looking behind him right now right now uh titan just shooting at him little trolling around going it looks like titan just trying to Oh, there's the sensor jammer pack. The flag on the other side, though, gets returned. The flag now, Aurora rushing over there. Maka, though, here. Is he going to be able to get the return? No, he can stump it off that flag. Titan now coming in. Pick up the flag. Kudos picks it up. Conspiracy. Conspiracy now is moving this flag into the midfield here. He has got this out 543 health remaining. He is going to pass that off nicely to Telia here. And uh, Warchief Slapho is in position potentially to get Telia killed here. Uh, and Kira Shore trying to put some damage out, but Telia is going to be able to secure this thing. And both flags did come off, but now it looks like we are going to move back into a standoff position here. Now with 10 minutes and 40 seconds remaining, very, very close for Maka. Uh, you know, you got to just hope that, that that Infiltrator isn't this one-trick pony, you know. It could be very, very difficult for him to uh, to get back into a good position. Titan has spotted him out now, unfortunately. Uh, he has gone back into invisibility, about 70 health remaining. Titan trying to put some splash damage out. Essentially, finally, we see Maka just stand there laughing at him. And uh, we've got uh, now uh, taking a look here. Looks like both teams have got it relatively secured. Maka still there. Conspiracy trying to get them uh, confused as Maka's got back 100 energy. Here he comes running in, slowly walking up. Conspiracy coming in against Kudos. Has got this flag knocked off. Here comes Maka coming in, does get that return. Here we go, this flag is back on the sand. Is Tao gonna be able to get this first cap of the game coming out? Copro trying to come off this hill. Warchief, Slapro, Brick, Curious George all crashing for 51. The blue team, and yes, Curious George, you know, this flag off the stand before Copro is able to get there. You see him now just coming in. Looks like Sub's gotta be on that chase. I don't know if he's gonna make it there in time. He's got one chance in a Nitro. No, he does miss it there, unfortunately. Brick cleans him up. Curious George gonna keep his flag moving, and uh, some great play coming out. No, that flag did get returned on the other side, unfortunately. Area 51 maybe closing the game out here. Uh, where is the where are the Tau players? I see only one. He's down in here. It's Maka in this infiltrator kit. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it on time. No, 99 actually did clean him up. Here comes a flag bouncing in. 99 gonna be able to pick it up. And GG's coming out. Yes, indeed. GG, well played, guys. And uh, congratulations to Area 51 Gaming for getting that W. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just see a fantastic series coming out there. Area 51 does squeak out a victory over the Tower of Tribe, 2-1. to one, And we are going to throw this off to a commercial for you guys real quick as we set up those post-game interviews. And uh, we get Guitar Guy looped back in. Quick shout-out to the sponsors, however. Before we go, we got Epson, Azo, wonderful monitors that you see here in front of me, Kingston HyperX, and all of their awesome solid-state drives and products. Uh, Game Minder, of course, and iBuy Power. So uh, over and out, guys, from here for now. We'll see you in just a couple minutes when we get back with some awesome interviews for you from the victory, victorious team of Area 51 Gaming.